Good morning, everyone. Ignore my hair. Just It's just too clean now to do anything, but welcome to vlog week day six. Actually, that's crazy. Um, I woke up naturally early again this morning. I keep waking up at 6.53. I don't know what it is. I'm off to get breakfast with two of my friends that I've known since I was like eight um, in my hometown. Oh my gosh, Coco. Poor girl. This is what I'm wearing. Yes, I'm gonna be hot, but I just don't really care. This top is Zara jeans or girlfriend the ones i wore yesterday i'm obsessed with them and then these sandals are rothy's i don't wear sandals but i actually like really like these i'm so picky when it comes to sandals so anyways these jeans definitely fit me better since getting them taken in they got taken in as much as like i possibly could get them taken in um and they're already a little bit but it's not bad like it was definitely worth um getting them taken in so anyways that's the look normal jewelry about to head out. Um, I'm really hungry. It's about a 35 minute drive, so I'm gonna grab a celery juice and then it'll be perfect timing. Here's my celery juice, guys. It's honestly not the worst thing in the world. It's so much easier when I have all these pressed ones, though. Um, I just ordered online, but... Okay, guys, I'm in my hometown. So I grew up in McKinney, which is like 35 minutes north of Dallas, and this is the downtown square, so it's like I mean the whole town does not look like this, but it's just super cute All the buildings are like adorable and we're going to spoons, which is like on that corner right there Which we like all grew up going to Um, but i'm so confused about all this construction and i'm actually gonna be so mad if they make it look Like the whole point of the downtown square is that it's supposed to feel like old So i'm like kind of worried about what they're doing here. My mom used to own a shop here So cute Like just see how cute it is guys Everything is just so cute, okay? All right, so I just parked. I'm going to breakfast, and I'll talk to you guys after. All right, guys. Just stopped by someone's house, and now I'm heading back to Dallas. So, okay, my arms are so sore from yesterday, um, but so tomorrow's Father's Day, and as we know, I already got my dad a Father's Day gift, but this morning I went into my office, and... It poured last night, and I guess there's like water damage in my office now. The window wasn't open, but it like something happened. And long story short, um, my dad's Father's Day gift got soaked. So I'm gonna go back to Favor the Kind. The store is great because they like actually enforce masks and stuff, but it's like my favorite store in Dallas now, anyways. So I'm gonna go there, try to find a replacement for my dad's gift, which I need to fill that book out anyways. And now we're actually celebrating Father's Day with my dad next week because my brother's working. And I'm so, so I actually have time now that I think about it. But I also wanna go to Trader Joe's. I wanna make bolognese i haven't made that in a while and i thought it would be good for the vlog but guys i'm excited i have about a 40 minute drive 35 really um but i haven't been listening to podcasts lately so i'm gonna catch up on my favorite podcast um listen to that stuff it's gonna be a really great thing by the way i have a podcast it's that i'll be so much podcast with Kinsey elizabeth um anyways i'm really excited next week a friend is actually gonna be in town um staying with me which i'm excited for back at trader joe's gonna try once more. Hopefully the line's not bad. Guys, back to the cheese board. It's so pretty out. La La Land, I'll miss you today. I've missed cooking this week. I'm making a cheese board and bolognese. I'm very excited. And then I ended up getting like a ton of other stuff. I'll show you guys. All right, I'm going back to Favor the Kind, my favorite store. It's so cute because my gift got ruined and this is where I got it from, but it's adorable. This is all Dolly Parton stuff, guys. Thank you so much. It's so freaking cute. Like, oh my God. This is very real and so cute. Oh my gosh, these dollars, these are so cute. They have a whole Dolly set. This will 100% be purchased. That's so funny. Guys, I just noticed I have Dolly Parton kids books. I'm literally dying. Oh my gosh. I will truly never get over this ever. Like ever. Last on to the moon or last on the moon. Oh my gosh. Picked it up. All right, guys. This is what I really quickly just picked up from Trader Joe's. By really quickly, I mean I went in to pick up ground pork because I needed it for bolognese and um, a few things. And then here we are. Full grocery trip later. 
Um, I got stuff for a cheese board, all of this stuff. Um, salmon, my favorite salmon ever is a barbecue cut from Trader Joe's. Nothing else, like, if I get it anywhere else, I don't know why I just love the Trader Joe's ones. More meat for the, I guess, charcuterie board, if it, there's meat, but... Green Goddess salad dressing, Parmesan. Okay, I picked this up because um, I saw Brooke posted about it in her vlog and said it was really good. It sounds so weird, but apparently it's amazing. And then I haven't had this in so long, the spinach and kale Greek yogurt dip. Guys, this is the best stuff ever. I was really hungry, so I just grabbed a bunch of random stuff. Kale, carrots, ground pork, and then just pasta, heavy whipping cream, and celery. So this is for pasta, some salads, random stuff like that. For lunch, I picked up this salad because I was so hungry. I'm still so hungry. Just mix it all together. Looks so good. Okay, guys. Coco is very playful right now. Um, I'm gonna lay down and read. I haven't read as much as I normally do this week. So, currently reading Night Road. Anyways, I just took my makeup off and I put the jet lag mask on. And I'm gonna relax and read. And this is literally my favorite way. Actually, no, I would rather read than do pretty much anything else. To make this afternoon even better, this is my um, reading snack, everyone. The best. I spent the afternoon reading. It was absolutely incredible. Um, I just put on a ton of just moisturizing skin products. So hopefully my skin looks amazing after this. Got a new shirt in the mail. This is from Custom XGG on Instagram. A custom like tie-dye shirt and it matches um, the print in my kitchen perfectly. And then Killa Dyes actually gave me another set which is so cute. So I have these biker shorts which I love. And then this top as well as this like cute little sports bra, which I just am obsessed with. So thank you so much. I have so many tie-dye sets now. Oh yeah, also she gave me these really cute purple um, tie-dye socks that she said she thought would look good with my Air Forces, which is so cute. Also, I know Lauren talks about this in her vlogs or just Instagram. Like these just ads that Kindle does are so embarrassing because people think you're reading like not appropriate books often. It's like, oh, you know, okay. This is what you need for bolognese. I've actually never used this pasta, but this is what um, pretty much everyone recommends. This is the best marinara sauce ever. I mean, it's definitely pricier, but it is so freaking good. I will, I mean, if I'm like actually cooking, cooking, I will use this. It's just so freaking good. Onion, celery, carrots. Um, you just saute these first. Then ground pork, ground beef, and then heavy whipping cream. I actually don't even know if I've put this in completely on my channel or if I've just done an IGTV video with it. Um, but yeah, it's like my favorite pasta ever. It's so good. I haven't made it in probably like, at, honestly, at least a month, maybe even six weeks, but it's so good. Okay, so I'm sauteing the vegetables, um, and then from here, I'll just add in the meat. Also, for everyone who always asks, this pan is from our place, and it is, I think it's, I believe it's called the Always Pan. It's meant to um, replace, I think, 16 different types of pans. There's other things that come with it, and honestly, I only use this one, and I have an entire dish set. Like, obviously, I use, like, that stuff to boil, um, but like I literally use this thing all the time. Like I want more. I want the beige one. I don't know. They're just the best and I use it non-stop. So 10 out of 10 would recommend. I'll have it linked down below. Okay, I've added the meat and I just cook the meat. Once the meat is cooked, then you add in the marinara sauce and then you let it simmer for 30 minutes. So you basically just let it sit on medium for 30 minutes. <laughs> Also made a cheese board really going all out on this fine Saturday evening. It looks so good. Okay, so I really want to try kombucha in a wine glass. I know Danielle loves this with ice. I'm just not a huge kombucha person, but I do have a bunch in my fridge. So I'm gonna try it. This is the no, I don't want to do this one. I wanted to go. Well, this one is bubbly rose, so like you would think that I would like this. Oh my gosh. So. I'm just gonna do a little taste test. 
I just don't really like it that much, but I'm just gonna have it because I already made it and maybe it's an acquired taste, you know? Okay, I'm gonna fill this out for my dad for Father's Day. My dad is like super, super nostalgic, so this will probably make him cry. Um, have the beautiful cheese plate and my beautiful kombucha in a wine glass with ice. Coco, Dobby the Elf. Oh my gosh, so many of you guys said you let your hair cut. You look like, I don't even know Coco. You look like a different dog. All right, pasta's boiling. This simmered for 30 minutes. I'm gonna add in the whipping cream and then I just stir this all together. Oh, this looks so good, guys. Here we go. Looks absolutely beautiful. Then you add some Parmesan. It's just so incredible, everyone. Okay guys, we are back. Here's the actual exact same ad. Um, but, oh my gosh, Coco, wow. Update, Golden Doodle Search is back on. Um, I really, really want one, so bad. And I already have a name and I'm ready to go um, because also, I'm not really gonna travel the remainder of 2020 just with how life is. And this is the best year ever for me to get another dog because I'm gonna be home more than probably ever. So, updates to come. We will see what ends up happening. Coco is being so funny. Um, anyways, I read probably like 60%, I wanna say, of my book today. I have about 25% left. On Kindle, it's by percentage, so like I don't know how many pages that is. But I really wanna finish it because I just have to know what happens now and I need to move on to my next book because I have suddenly lost my crazy re reading streak. Reading streak, why does that sound hard for me to say? So. That's very exciting, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and the bolognese recipe and all that stuff. I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow for our last day of vlog week.